or ground texture using a texture deformer and the built-in noise texture, I guess, in Maya. So all I did is I created a plane um, of an arbitrary size and I gave it a bunch of subdivisions. And you want to make sure that these are squarish because they're going to function more or less like pixels and if they're rectangular it's going to look kind of wonky. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go into, make sure I'm in my modeling menu and go to deform uh, texture. And then if I open my outliner, uh, you'll see it made a little texture deformer handle. Uh, so I'm going to click on that. Go into my attribute editor, uh, select texture deformer 2. I have another one in my scene, I'll show you that later. But um, And then I'm going to map a noise texture into the texture channel. Define the thingy. Then you can see that the geometry itself is now modified to be the warbly sort of noise texture. And if I modify the amplitude or pretty much any of the... That is awful. Uh, but if, <laughs> if I modify any of these settings, it's going to affect my texture or my, my ground. Um, and then one thing... Let's just make this obnoxiously dense. And then you can see if I... Ah, oh, it's not going to be good. That's annoying. Um, oh, maybe if I make this 200, you can see that the resolution gets uh, finer the more subdivs you add. Let me... Let's see what happens. Hey! Um, but yeah, now you can see it's like actually going sort of closer to whatever the noise texture is. Um, but I'm going to get rid of this before it crashes my computer. Actually, one fun thing. Throw in... Wait, wait a ah, sorry. Uh, I'm going to remove the noise texture and just, for, for grinsies, I'm going to add in a file, find somewhere on my desktop, Ah, no, no. Oh, I can't search for stuff? That's gross. Alright, well in that case, no, sure, we're just gonna randomly throw this in. But yeah, you can see it'll pretty much project any texture into here. Um, and the, the higher resolution you have, the better your image is going to look. But anyway, so that's that. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to make one that's animated. And pretty much all I've done here is make another plane. Uh, I made a gross little groundish texture, as you can see, but make another plane, um, add some subdivs, and for some reason, my time slider is turned off. But, um. It's weird, I never turn this off anymore. Um. Yeah, so I'm gonna find the time node that I put on that one. And you can see that I've keyed it here, and this is like the sloppiest way to possibly do this, but I put a key on frame one and frame 60 where the time is set at 0. And then at frame 30 I set it to 1. So if I play this it's going to loop very awkwardly but it is going to loop and it makes something that looks vaguely like water. Um, you can obviously play with these settings so it doesn't... it's not so obvious where the loop is but you know decent way to make a nice cheap water texture uh, without doing any kind of crazy simulations and all of that nonsense. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much the thing.